All right, welcome back to my Seth Inquisitor walkthrough. Last episode, we actually got the last piece of the artifact that our master needed. So we're about to go back to Droma Kass, the homeworld planet, to see what she wants. She's calling us back. And for this armor set, you see it's looking good right here. Well, I'll tell you. This armor set is... Uh, oh, it's a mix of a match of uh, uh, different ones. The chest piece is Marco Ragnos' uh, robes. It's not too expensive. You can buy it, like, for... I'd say if you have at least 100 mil, you can buy this. Or uh, 1.4K in the uh, cartoon market, you can buy this. And the arm, the hand and the bracers are covert arm, hand energy uh, armor. The set is uh, $20, 20, uh, 2K uh, cartel credits. This is um, Malik Shadow's boots. It's not too expensive. I'd say about 50 mil in the uh, cartel market. And the uh, Resilient Warden's uh, belt, 1.4K in the uh, cartel market. And this, you can actually get in the cartel bazaar in the, uh, what they call it, in the um, in the Imperial Fleet or in the Republic Fleet, Imperial Fleet, wherever you want it. It's just in the cartel bazaar. It's for 10, 10 of these things. Oh, wait, oh where was that? It's for 10 of uh, these cartel market uh, certificates and 100,000. 100, uh, uh credits so it's not too expensive or it's not too uh costly to buy this whole armor set it does look good though i'm not gonna lie you can't lie either it do look good but we are gonna draw one cars to see what's up I, I, I fuck with this story heavy though the um sith inquisitor story is pretty good especially this guy i like this guy a lot but i don't like him more than uh oh. you're looking for sash well she's not here Allow me to introduce myself, Darth Thanaton. Don't worry, I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. An alien in the Sith ranks is an extremely rare thing. It never ceases to amaze me how narrow-minded the Sith can be. I wouldn't call it narrow-mindedness. The individual and the social will must be reconciled. There are no lords in an anarchy. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. That seems to be everyone's favorite subject these days. Really? I'd love to hear what everyone has to say. Darth Zash is arrogant and reckless. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate herself too closely with a master like Zash. It's all right. I'm going to kill her anyway. I will pretend I didn't hear that. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The culty one on Nar Shaddaa was a good first step, but it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shake the Sith. I feel it. Now. I have another gift for you, one that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber, until now, lost to me, but through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Eskimos, the only servant who didn't Trade when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Narshadar, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Eskimos. Go to her and claim your inheritance. Ooh, we're getting an ancient lightsaber from our uh, ancestor over here. I can't wait. Oh, actually, we have to go somewhere else. What the fuck? 
So nor should I. I don't want to uh, hit this hit this little uh, gate right here because I know it's gonna glitch. Well, it's not gonna glitch. The animation is gonna be a few a little bit junky. So I'm waiting till you know what I'm saying. So let goes away. Are we settled in? All right, we're good. It, Cause the uh, the whole um, what they call it the whole um hi the whole hyper hyperspace travel thing with the white with the white uh, surroundings all around it, it they actually show that if you click that too early if you click the gates too early and it's kind of trippy. Maybe it's just a glitch, or maybe they do it on purpose. Who knows? But. I kind of like it though. It ain't too bad. It's something different if you want to, you know, son. Don't if you don't want to see the planet fully. Afrandiban. Man, I wish I could speak. Um, I wish I could speak alien, or speak whatever fucking language. Uh, this guy's speaking. Only thing I I wouldn't want to speak is. Fucking uh, um, what's that Rodian? That Rodian language. I hate Rodians. Tough, but I, I can't even describe to you how much I hate Rodians. Oh no, we going to Star Cluster? Yeah, the Star Cluster. Because usually every time they send us back, it's always to the Star Cluster Casino. In the story quests, I noticed that for the um, for the smuggler, for the um, uh, what they call it, for the uh, bunny hunter and. For the Jedi Knight. I am gonna replay the smuggler one though, cause I wanna make a female and see what we can do with her. Cause I kinda made a playthrough with uh with the Jedi Knight and the smuggler one. No commentary, which I shit well I mean I, I was still getting kinda you kinda getting into YouTube, so I'm c I am still getting into well, getting into YouTube right now. I'm like I say I'm like two percent in. <laughs> I have so much shit I wanna do. Drunk and play a little Sith. I want you sated when I kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. If you say so, big guy. You're Mila Eskelos, aren't you? I believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me. I knew this would happen. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Please don't kill me. I'll get the lightsaber back, I promise. I hope you plan to elaborate. It was my no good father. He broke the oath. Dad was never very smart, but a couple of years ago he topped himself. Put everything we had, lightsaber included, on the sabak table against a sleazebag named Gil Rosen, a known cheater. Lost it all. I'd like a word with your father. Now he's dead, and I'm paying off his debts. All of them. I get the lightsaber back, but Rosen has it, and he's holed up in the industrial area. It's too dangerous, and I, I can't exactly afford help. It's nothing I can't handle. <sighs> Look, you want to go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and <sighs> please don't kill me. Only an Aeschylus can open the lightsaber case. It's some kind of genetic lock, so <sighs> if you get it, bring it here. Of uh, course, it's, I'm not gonna kill her. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. She seems like a um, a genuine person. Why would I kill you, man? I mean, that is kind of the reputation for a Sith. If I had a Sith standing right in front of me right now, I would be fucking sucking him off. I'll tell you, don't kill me. I uh, I choose life, please. I would meat ride him so hard. Them, oh, you're the strongest Sith I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> just to keep my life. <laughs> I, I'm just being honest. Oh, wait. I can just fast travel, I think. Upper industrial sector. Upper industrial. Here we go. Oh, was that the Met Center? I think the Met Center is closer to where we're going, though. I think so, because it's, it's further away from the taxi, so it should be... Yep. Oh, that feels great. Man, I'll tell you. And just to read the game like that. I feel like a god. 
All right, so this guy has the lightsaber. We gotta show him. Oh shit! Uh, nice. Oh what? They countered my um. <laughs> they countered my stealth. Um, are we good? Are we good? Okay, let me just do this. Speak to speak to Jill Rosen. That's a nice name. I'm not gonna lie to you. You shouldn't Jill. come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus Well. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. You're in no place to bargain. Look, I'm standing here with Nar Shaddaa's toughest mercenaries. Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. That's what I'm thinking. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. Hard to believe. But you're actually dumber than you look. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Uh, sir, you, you do realize. No complaints. I don't pay you to complain. Kill her. Kill her. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. I'll make it quick, I promise. No way. I got no plans for dying anytime soon. Boys, let's get out of here while we still have our hides, huh? Wait. This isn't what I pay you for. You fools, you'll never work on Nar Shaddaa again. Just hand over the lightsaber. Look, I'll, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber. You let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. The lightsaber. And you clear the Aeschylus girl's debts. Fine. Fine. I cancel the debts, and you can have your lightsaber. Just don't kill me. Now get out of here, please. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> That was one of the funniest interactions I've ever seen in this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like that a lot. <laughs> Dang, that's actually the first time this game made me make me laugh like that. Holy moly, <laughs> that's a gold uh, um interaction. <laughs> Dang, he was scared. Shitless, what to you? <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I like that. I love that, actually. <laughs> so, did you give that scumbag Rosen a taste of his own blood? Your debt is cleared. Thanks. I appreciate that a lot. Now, let me see that case. Uh, just a second here. Uh, oh, there you go. I hope it's what you wanted. Anyway, now that I don't have to pay Rosen off, I'll probably ditch this place. I owe you one. I'll find you when I need you. I hope I'm up to the task. Good luck out there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Ah, oh, that felt great. I don't know. I just got some. I just got some relief in my back. I don't know why. Just because that scene, I guess. It was really good. Have I mentioned recently how much I enjoy serving you? Thank you. I am a lucky droid. A plaintiff. You have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Curse immediately. I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise. Cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. Oh, I knew it was too good to last. Yes. Her words smell of honey and taste of poison. Zash praises your great strength, 
Yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force if she has no intention of fighting you? I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone. But bring an ally who can break through her defenses. As you say. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared. Hmm. Alright. I appreciate that. I guess we gotta go to Drum and Cast now. Dang, so she just she's actually she's genuinely trying to uh, betray me. I wasn't even trying to betray her though, that's the thing. We could have been we could have been uh masters, uh master and apprentice, best buddies. Like Anakin and uh Obi Wan. Apprentice, you've arrived on drama and cars. Marvelous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice out of the way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. If you make one move against me, I'll strike. My dear apprentice, from the very beginning, everything I have done, I've done for you. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Dechard is fine, desirable even given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. As long as I can bring my lightsaber. I don't see why not, though I can't imagine you'll have to use it. Now hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin. Oh. Some funny business going on, I guess. I guess he really is trying to betray me. It's alright though, I, I, I am the chosen one. I'm not gonna die easily. Dang, that planet looks sick as fuck. Too bad the insides is garbage though. It rains and it's like, it's dark all the time. Hell no, I mean, uh, I don't think, I'll take, I don't think I'd want to live there, honestly. It's too dark. <laughs> Too much dark stuff going on. And I wonder why she doesn't want us to bring uh, Andronicos. I, f I feel like, um, I feel like it'd be best to bring, like, in her favor, if she was betraying me, to bring Andronicos, because he's not force sensitive and he can't, you know what I'm saying? He can't manipulate the force or use the force in any way. Or maybe she wants to, um, kill Kemval there also while, um, while trying to get with Andronicos, I guess, as her, as hers? I'm not too, I'm, maybe I'm just reaching. Oh, there, here it is. Oh, I thought it was more stairs or more uh, um, elevation. I don't know, I don't know the word for that, for that little circle thing going up. Did you hear that? The voice, the, the little voice in the background? Oh, again. Why are there Sith trying to kill me here? Isn't it? I swear. Well, I mean, these guys are possessed, so I guess they're not for Darth Zash, I guess. So how does she walk in here? <laughs> oh, there she is. Master, talk to me. Don't try me, though. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear, strong. You have truly come into your own. You possess great power, certainly, but the teachings of Korriban seem to have had scant influence on you. How many times did you have the option to expand your power and yet stayed your hand? Do you really know what it means to be Sith? 
A Sith follows her heart. Yes. There is only passion. But do not forget, through passion I gain strength. Through strength, power. Passion is the method. Power, the end. I've arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Thanaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. I hope I live up to the honor. You've already exceeded my greatest hopes and expectations. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There is still the ritual to undergo. And I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience. But once it's done, you will be truly great. Truly powerful. If by powerful, you mean dead. Apprentice! Where did you get an idea like that? When have I ever tried to do you harm? The truth is, I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. Look at me, apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long, but it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. Why are you showing me this now? Listen, apprentice. Various force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality. But inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, apprentice. My will, my intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever. But this body is dying. Too bad you can't just order a new one. But apprentice, that's exactly what I've done. Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for, from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. Ah. We will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. Uh, no. What the fuck? Uh, so she wants to take my body. What the fuck would I hold still? Nigga, I'm hot. Why would I let you just take my shit from me? No, man. You can't stop this ritual from happening. to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, and diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation, finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted. You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death. You fool, you have ruined everything. Go away and give me Ken back. No, apprentice. It looks like you're stuck with me now. But I wonder how powerful your friend Ken was. Powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion. I defeated the Deshard once. I can do it again. You. That bond, that damn bond. How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you. This is what we call a classic reversal of fortune. Pataya Gila Senaim, Anabidupi Pi Pukdu Gas Fantan. 
Zwaiwai silbans in iswish, paman ik alkas jam, guidis in tis iswares. Is that you, my morose monster? Unswekon pose warp, warp by nupai in zads jains wans jan. Mat in sop ja, himan kudana, ja ayun pro kumana. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Think about it, flesh of my flesh. Zash claimed to have wanted to steal your body for herself, and just now she spoke to you from the Dashard. Munzgasai. Protest all you like, Ken Vol, servant of Tulak Horde, but your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. Will someone please wake me up when everything's normal again? The Force is complex, a mystery. There are none who understand it completely. Be content in your victory. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye and good luck. I guess not everything Zash dreams is a lie, then. You are Lord Kalik now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Carl. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl. Darth Zash. You... You murdered her. I'll finish you off just as easily. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord, we have not met, but Carl and I are Zash's newest apprentices. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had, one that has now been fulfilled by you. By all means, continue. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her, but she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith Order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. Believe me, Zash only thought of herself. How strange. Darth Zash only ever had words of praise for you. We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash answered to Darth Thanaton on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Cam, will you do the honors? Afgudan heifst, but thy guibanist, ni fragais fraujan, kupainana.